What is up, everybody? I'm back with another video, man. Today, we're gonna be reacting to I got fired and escorted out of my job, and I made a story by Yo Yo 808. That's how I was getting to it, bro. You know, Yo Yo, I've had it up to here with your nonsense. Well, that's still pretty low. You're so it's time to tell the story firing story three videos have led up to this how did i get fired from the job that didn't care that i almost got shot in the parking lot attacked a customer and lost seventeen thousand mm. dollars what did i do that was so bad that it warranted permanent termination well let me tell you this was around the time I had like 4,000 subscribers. And as you do when you ignore the advice of everyone in your life, get kicked out of your home and have to move into your friend's brother's room to pursue telling stories on the internet, I, I felt down. I was doubting my self-worth. And to fix this, what a therapist would suggest or what I'm sure any sane person would do is look themselves in the mirror and say nice things. What I do is the exact opposite. I look in the mirror and absolutely tear <laughs> myself down, bro. Yo, yo. You are a grown man sleeping in a closet. No college degree. You're working 40 hours a week for minimum wage in a futile attempt to grow a subpar YouTube channel. What are you doing with your life? Ten hey, bro, years the hard work really pay off, bro. Look at you now, bro. Got over 500k, bro. You waste of sperm. The logic is to make all of my problems apparent so I can guilt myself into being productive. And you know what? It worked, right? Like, like, like I'm here, right? Like, don't do the things that I do. So after eviscerating my self-esteem to the point where I'm still repairing. Okay, okay. I see you through and your rage. Okay, okay. To this day, I started to really lock into my channel more than ever before. I'd go to work, animate on my lunch break, come home, animate, sleep for like three hours, wake up, take enough caffeine to make me worry about my remaining lifespan, go back to work, and then repeat. And because of this, I'd not only leave work exhausted, but I'd also go to work exhausted. Now, I'm sure it makes sense as to why I made all those dumb mistakes in those other videos. Dude, I'm half awake. So one day I show up for a 12 hour closing shift. And as I said earlier, I'd animate on my lunch breaks instead of eating. So I got a little hungry and something other cashiers would regularly do if they're hungry and the store is dead is they would grab food, scan it and pay for it, basically selling it to themselves, which is against the rules. But, you know, even managers did it. So water under the bridge. But I didn't because I'm a good employee. Sure, I lost $17,000. Sure, I assaulted a woman with a gallon of laundry detergent. But if my manager specifically <laughs> tells me not to do something, I don't do it. Ah, nigga, feed me. <laughs> so I grab a Hershey's bar, open it so I can eat it as I work. But right before I can scan and pay, this guy with like three carts of beer pulls up to my register mad fast. I ask him what all this is for, and he says that he's starting a beer company and this is gonna be his first stock. But that's a, that's a terrible idea because he's not buying it wholesale, but that, that, that's neither here nor there. I'm mad sleep deprived right now. So I start scanning this guy's mountain of beer, but as I'm scanning, my manager interrupts me and tells me that he wants to finish the order so we can make sure everything goes smoothly. So he sends me to go on a break. I grab my things and head to the break room. My break ends, my manager finishes the $7,000 order. Two hours later, my shift ends and I go home. Fast forward a couple months and I'm at a register, you know, I'm just doing my thing and I hear the intercom of the whole store turn on. Doo -doo. Uh, yo, yo. I'm gonna need you in the office right now. I said this in the last video and I'll say it again. They never use the intercom to call people in unless it's very important. The last time they used this on me, I walked into a room full of cops. So after hearing this, my forehead starts to precipitate, bro. I'm just getting flashbacks of the last time this happened, but now I'm confused because what did I do? I honestly can't remember you know what I'm saying? That's like getting called to the main office, bro. Over the intercom. So I walked into the office mad confused. I opened the door and it's the same scene as last time. Several managers and one computer screen. I'm glad you're here to join us, Yo-Yo. We were reviewing the security tapes and found some very alarming footage of them. 
have a seat. I sit down and they explain that they were reviewing the transaction of the guy with the beer, which is normal, you know, they usually review large transactions, but I, I didn't even do most of the scanning. My manager did, so I don't see why I need to be involved. They show me the footage and then I see it. I grab a Hershey's bar, the guy comes, my manager replaces me and I leave. I grab my phone, my water, and the Hershey's bar. And I dip without pain. The footage did not mm. look good, yo. It even picked me up looking around before I grabbed the bar. Smooth. Looked like I saw oh, it. The that's, that's a bad look. I, I just forgot Definitely to got pay. Caught in there 4K. was just a lot going on. I was very sleep deprived. I was sent away mid-transaction. I just looked at the open Hershey's bar on my register and I just assumed I paid for it. I would not steal. Like, <laughs> why would I risk my entire job as a broke boy? for 75 cents bro i don't got paper but i at least got shreds i sigh oh god what are they talking about angry managers yo yo you know we've done this too many times give me one reason why i shouldn't sit in this <laughs> building right now that wasn't rhetorical give me an answer honestly I almost lied, like, I would rather blatantly lie about what was on the screen rather than explain my genuine mistake to these angry old people. But I explained the situation and... Oh, okay, so you didn't steal the Hershey's bar. Yes, I promise, okay, why would I steal that? It was an accident, I'm sorry. Thank you for understanding, this job is... You are just breaking the rules and paying for it yourself! Explain yourself! Water under the bridge? You know, yo, yo, I've had it up to here! With your nonsense. Well, that's still pretty low. You're terminated, <laughs> and I need you to leave the premises now. And just like that, I was showed out by like two managers. Didn't even let me clock out or anything. Honestly, what's crazy to me is that it wasn't almost getting shot, attacking a customer, and losing seventeen thousand dollars that fired me. It was seventy-five cents. Nah, that is tough. Or maybe all of them combined. You best suck a chain cause you know I'm a rip that. I break them off like a Kit Kat. I'm off the throne like a wig snatch. My yeah. chopper loaded. That shit got some kickback. Uh. Yeah. Bah, bah. I'm copping the Tezzy. You whipping the Lexus. I'm in the cups like tetanus. Lay a nigga down in a block cause I like playing tennis. Yeah. So you niggas can find me. I got a cat like a bottle to sign me. My yeah. niggas walk around with the slugs on them like they part of the sign. Mm. Mm. You said he talking, my nigga. The fuck is you getting at? And they said he walking my nigga. I know I can get you like I'm about to shoot him. Go, bro. Hey, but that's gonna be the end of this video. Bro, like, comment, subscribe, and we out, cuz.